In this problem, we're being asked to find the domain of this function. So the domain is the set of all ordered pairs that we can plug into this function that makes sense. So let's think about each piece individually. So in the numerator, we have the square root of x. So you cannot take the square root of a negative number. So x has to be zero or positive. So in this problem, x must be greater than or equal to zero for this expression here to make sense. Likewise, y must be greater than or equal to zero for this expression to make sense. However, uh, if we were to let y equal to be zero, we would get the square root of zero, which is zero. And that would mean that we end up dividing by zero. So that's no good. So instead of this, we are a little more strict. We require that it's strictly positive. So that way, we don't allow for the case when the bottom is zero. So now that we have these conditions on x and y, we can express our domain in set notation. So it's the set, and it's always ordered pairs because it's two variables. So it'll be x comma y. So it's the set of all ordered pairs, that's how you read this, such that, that's what the line means, and now we can specify the conditions on x and y. We want x to be greater than or equal to zero. And I'll just put a comma. We want y to be greater than zero. You can put a comma or you can write and. Either is fine. And that would be the final answer.